like a little protection while we're working out here until we can finish this place. Gary Luke is one of four electrical contractors who've been working on Herndon Homes for almost a year. They're rewiring more than 500 units here when they were built more than 40 years ago. They didn't have all the appliances they do today, so they're having to change it from 100 amps to 400 amps. Luke and the other contractors say the rewiring is the easy part of their job. Getting protection for themselves, they say, is the hard part. The contractors say they've been chased with knives, they've been threatened, thousands of dollars worth of tools have been stolen. Just this past Friday, one of them was shot in an attempted robbery. One of the contractors says he doesn't blame it on the people who live at Herndon Homes. I do feel like that uh, it's the people that comes into these projects and just set up, see what they can pick up. Contractor Denny Goodwin says when they complain to the Atlanta Housing Authority, all they get are promises. Instead of saying, we're going to handle it, we're going to do something, I'd like to see them do something. Because we've been asked since September and nothing's happened yet. I got run out of apartment with a butcher knife. The Housing Authority's executive director, Sam Hyder, admits there's a problem. He says the Housing Authority doesn't have the money to keep a uniform police presence there at all times. And he's had at least one instance when one of the contractor's employees refused to testify so a complaint could be prosecuted. Hyder says, when there's a problem, the Atlanta police do cooperate in getting someone there as soon as possible. But unless something more is done, three of the four contractors say they won't be working on any more Atlanta housing projects. This is my last one. This is the last time I'll do a housing project. And I've told everybody out here, I'll stick to the north side of town from now on. At Herndon Homes in West Atlanta, Don McClellan, Action News.